although we haven't discovered it yet, like this is why we're so curious about alien life, not just because of the possibilities of all the stars, but because we kind of see what would happen with us if we keep going. Yeah. You know, it just it, that might be just what the universe does, that the, the universe creates intelligent people that create artificial intelligence that becomes far superior and literally is a part of the whole process of creating the universe itself. Yeah, an evolutionary biologist would say the counter argument is that what life does, what evolution does, is produce organisms that are well fit to their environment, right? They, right. So they, they fit niches in the environment. But there's no drive to complexity. There's no law that says that the more complex you are, the more likely you are to survive and flourish. And the, the, the example of life on Earth probably backs that up. Right? So if you talk Biologically. About three, three, yes, three billion years of single cells. What that means is that the single-celled organisms were just doing very well. Right. And so it's not obvious. It's not a given that just because you suddenly get more complicated, you're better than the single celled things. Right. So uh, there uh, could existing. be lo planets where life never evolves past single cells, but yeah, and life Earth exists. Was, Earth was almost that. Right. So you go back one billion years from now, and Earth was that planet. So the interesting things that happened photosynthesis, complex biochemistry. But as far as we can tell, nothing more complex than a.